Hello guys, this is Shaded and welcome to my first ever tutorial. This contraption guys you see in front of me is what I like to call the zombie healing factory, but it also can be used as a trading booth. What this design does, it, it separates incoming zombies slash villagers into separate booths with the option to dispose them. So we have a normal zombie here, we want a zombie villager, so this guy goes out into lava, into cactuses, you can kill them by fall damage, however you like. It's up to you, uh, I leave your imaginations flowing in here. And yeah guys, I wasn't able to find a design as compact and as simple as this one, also it's not very redstone intensive. Uh, so I thought I'd make a tutorial about it. So let me show you the, uh, guys the design in action. So one one zombie goes in, right? And he unlocks the path uh, to the second booth. So the next next guy goes in in the in the booth, right? Next path is open, and so on and so on. Uh, what this design's features are in opposite to other designs I found in the internet is that it's uh, flood proof so when you have uh, two zombies uh, incoming like close to each other you never get two zombies or ba basically barely never uh, get two zombies into one booth so we have here one, one guy uh, into his booth and the second guy which was right be behind him got stuck into the block and when you reset this booth this guy gets uh, gets pushed in and he is in his separate booth right now. So it's completely flood, flood proof and I've, I've had r r very rare uh, chances of getting two, two guys into one, into one uh, of the boxes. And uh, yeah, also this design is completely tileable. How many boxes you want, how many booths you want, you can get. It's up to you. How, many, how much you do and um, yeah this design has one flaw but it's so minor you, I, I'm, I'm not even bothered by it so you have the villager incoming right he gets uh, like one or two heart uh, damage so it's not no big whoop to be honest you can still trade with him other villagers don't get mad at you and it's it's not it's it's not a issue for zombie villagers because when you heal them if they get the villagers healed uh, like the villagers from from the healed uh, zombies uh, they have they have their hearts restored. So uh, there's one more feature I'm gonna show you with this design, which is optional, but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyways because I think it's it's kind of cool. But I'm gonna show it to you once I get a zombie villager into one of the booths. So we'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we get lucky and we have two zombie villagers. One is in this booth and the other guy is in this one. So what this design's feature is is when you heal those uh, guys, yeah. Let's say we have a splash potion, uh, weakness potions. We get him an apple. Same goes for this guy. Splash potion of weakness, golden apple, and we lock them using those levers, right? And when you get want to get rid of all of the zombies, um, like in in one button, in one button press, you press this button here, and you're good to go. This the zombie villagers are still here because we flick the levers and they are still healing, right? And that's basically it for this design and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a tutorial how to build them. For most of you guys, uh, this this is gonna be the t tutorial like uh, I'm gonna show you this side. I'm w I wait a few seconds for you to take the screenshots. This is, this is one module, so you put this module next to the next module and and so on. This is the other side of the module. Make a screenshot now. I wait a couple seconds. And okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the tutorial how to build this. Guys, what I forgot to tell you is that the mass killing uh, button is also good for villagers. Let's say this guy, like let's say this guy has awesome traits, right? Uh, but this, uh, the second, uh, but the other, the other guys uh, don't. Right? We have breeding like tons of villagers, 
no good trades at all. We block this guy. He's our best trade, right? We flick the mass killing lever. Bam! Go down go all the villagers except the guy we blocked, right? So yeah, that's another function of it. I'm I'm mostly this design uh, this design for zombies. That's why the mass killing button is so useful. But it also can be useful for the villagers. So yeah, guys, let's go back to the tutorial. First, I'm gonna show you all the materials you need for one module. So keep in mind that it will be multiplied by the by the amount of modules you want to have. We're gonna need one pist one normal piston. Two sticky pistons, five redstone dust, five stone slabs, one button, one pressure plate, and one redstone torch. Uh, apart from that, uh, we're gonna need a bunch of signs, uh, a bunch of building blocks, also ice, and a water source. For the optional part, uh, which is the mass killing button, we're gonna use uh, red, redstone lamps, a one redstone lamp, one lever, one sticky piston, a bunch of redstone torch, a bunch of redstone repeaters, a bunch of redstone, a, and also one button for the which is the which is gonna be the button you press to kill all of the guys. So yeah, guys. Let's get right into the tutorial. So you wanna get things started with a 2x7 area, with this hole being the death pit, and this guy being the floor level of your room. And the ice uh, stream is the ice water ice stream is gonna be six blocks raised from, from that point. So you wanna grab your regular blocks and place them in this fashion, not not here, in this fashion, like that. You wanna grab a stone pressure plate and a redstone dust behind it. Then you wanna take a stone slab and put it here. And a regular piston right on top of the redstone dust facing towards us. Then you wanna put on top of it a regular... Uh, a, no, 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 no. You wanna put on top of it a normal block, a sticky piston facing upwards and a normal block again. In between of those uh, pistons, you want to put a button right here and you want to go to the back and start placing our slabs. You place the slab here, then down, remove the slab above it, then you take this slab, then you put it here and then you put it the last slab right in this, this place. You want to grab your eyes, it's important that it is regular eyes. You can use packed ice alternated with regular ice, but I prefer using just regular ice, so it's it's not complicated for you guys. Then you want to grab your redstone dust and put it on top of every single half slab, except of the guy in the front of it. But then you want to grab a regular block, put it right on the side of the redstone dust, like not like this, like this. You want to remove this block and put a redstone torch right here. Then you want to grab your second sticky piston and put it on top of the redstone torch and put a button A, a regular, a building block right here. And that's basically all the mechanical parts done. So when you press here uh, on the pressure plate, one piston will extend and the other will retract. Like this. Yep. And all that's left to do is to build the walls of it in this fashion. You want to go down like this and two blocks here and one down just like that. And then for the last part uh, of, the, of the walls you want to put uh, blocks like this. It's important that you leave this space uh, empty or you can put a health slab here, but it's important that it's empty so we can reach the button right here. And you want to go up like this and a couple blocks uh, to fill up those gaps. And then you want to go with your ice stream like this and put a couple more uh, barrier blocks uh, like uh, for the railings so the water can't flow away. And one more important thing, 
is that you put uh, a sign right in its place. So you want to grab your eyes and continue it till it uh, meets with your normal normal water stream or item uh, or mob elevator or whatever you choose to use and put a bucket of water right here. And then that's all that is to this basic layout, right? You also want to um, put walls in from this side, so mobs can fall from the from the other side, and a block right here. And that's our first module done. I'm gonna uh, speed up the, the footage so you guys can see how I build the next modules and what techniques I use to do so. And there you have it guys. The basic layout is done and as you guys will see in a second when we take now a zombie it floats in, right? It goes into his booth. Oh, I forgot the signs. The signs are very important. Yep. Place the signs right here, right here and right here. That's all. That is to it. And yeah, first, first zombie got in, booth got closed and we take the second zombie, right? He's going into this hole. And bam, there he goes, right? Most of you guys probably gonna use long designs uh, as this one. And you're gonna run into the problem that the water source is not gonna be enough for the stream to be the right length. So what you wanna do is create another water source. And first up, you're gonna, what you're gonna do is make a U-shape in this uh, fashion. Uh, I'm using glass blocks uh, so you guys can better see, but you can use any blocks you like. What you want to do is go down here and place a sign in this place, also in this place. And what you want to do now is place a block right here and two blocks in this place. Now you want to place a sign above the sign we created earlier during making the modules, right here. And that's basically it, but one important thing uh, for it to work is you want to uh, re temporarily remove this block. Then what you want to do is place the water right here. Place a block right there and you should be all fine. The water sh uh, shouldn't uh, break or anything. And as you guys can see, the stream is extended and you guys want to repeat it every fifth, uh, fifth module. And you should, it should be all good. For those of you guys that are interested in the mass killing mechanism, you want to go to the back of the design and find the first two pistons. Then what you want to do is place a block in between them, diagonally one block below it, and a redstone repeater on top of it. Behind the redstone repeater, you want to place a block and below it, two blocks below it, a, another one, with a redstone torch on top of it. Then what you want to do is Go and find your uh, redstone, uh, find the place where you want to have your button to activate the killer. Let's say, for example, we want to have it here. You want to grab your button, like so. Put it here uh, with a redstone torch behind it, because it's important that the signal is inverted. And grab your line and join it to the block with the redstone torch. If you guys have more than two pistons, 
you will basically do the same thing. You find the next pair of the next pair of pistons, place a block uh, in between them, block diagonally uh, below, redstone repeater on top of it, block behind, two blocks below it, another block, and redstone torch. You want to connect everything up with a redstone line, with uh, two redstone like this and re and repeater uh, behind the block with the redstone torch like this and that's all all that is to the redstone uh, to the massive killer so to show it in action i place a few zombies right i push the button bam every zombie gets gets disposed so what you want to do now uh, is the lock mechanism so uh, we flip the levers of the guys of the boxes we don't want to get disposed so what you want to do is grab redstone uh, lamps which are optional so what I'm gonna do is the first two blocks I'm gonna do with redstone lamps the other two I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them like like there are so you want to place uh, levers on front of it with redstone dust on top of the redstone lamps uh, slash blocks. Then what you want to do is remove the half slab, temporary of course, grab some sticky pistons like such, uh, remove one block uh, above, place the sticky piston and place one half slab on top of uh, below the sticky piston. Then what you want to do is replace uh, place the half slab back and you do the same principle with the other boxes. Remove one block, place the piston, place a half slab and place the half slab you just removed back. Then the same principle, remove block, place piston, half slab, half slab. And the last one, re remove the blocks, piston, half slab, half slab. And that's all there is to it. So as you guys can see the half slab gives, the half slab gives is standard. Replace some more zombies just for testing. So. This guy is safe because the lever is active. You place, you press the button, bam, all the three guys go. This guy is safe, bam, nothing happens to him. And every time this is active, the killer won't affect him. And anyway, if we if we disable it, bam, down he goes. That's all that is to it. So guys, if you enjoyed this design, please do leave a like, and if you could, please do share it with your fellow friends. So you guys can build it together. And yeah guys, this has been Shaded. Stay chilled and I will hopefully see you soon.